It is back to the drawing board again for Ohio redistricting. In a 4-3 to three vote, the Ohio Supreme Court shot down the fourth attempt at new legislative district maps. News reporter Allison Gens joins us live in the studio with what's next, as well as reaction from local lawmakers. Allison. The Ohio Redistricting, Redistricting Commission is back on the clock. It has until May 6th to submit a fifth round of maps to the Ohio Supreme Court, and local lawmakers are frustrated. This is now about to be the fifth map. The fifth map. This should have been over with. It's time for us to get off of the redistricting merry-go-round. Independent map makers were brought in to finally craft legal maps. However, the Ohio Redistricting Commission says those maps were not done in time to submit to the courts. So they instead submitted modified maps of previously rejected versions. As with the previous three maps, the Ohio Supreme Court rejected this version, saying they unfairly favor the Republican Party. State Senator Naraj Antani says he wants to see a bipartisan approach and independent map makers called back in. Republican map drawers and Democrat map drawers, there should just be map drawers. You know, they were very close to uh, a map when you know, the bait and switch was pulled the last time, and so uh, I think they should be brought back in. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose issued a statement Thursday encouraging Ohioans to vote in the May 3rd primary, saying in part, quote, the court's latest ruling has no impact on that election at all, and contests for statewide, congressional, and local offices and issues will proceed as scheduled. LaRose says a separate primary will be held for the races removed from the ballot. State Representative Willis Blackshear says this process needs to move forward. We're wasting uh, a lot of taxpayer dollars uh, on this whole process. Voters are confused in terms of going out to vote. Montgomery County Board of Elections officials estimate holding a second primary for the remaining Ohio House and Senate races could cost up to $500,000. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.